So we have, we have elements of our portfolio that are just naturally software solutions like WebEx, right? I mean, these are subscription software businesses. Then we have parts of our business that are hybrids, like Meraki that has a cloud-based subscription and then it's got a piece of hardware, and some of your portfolio will be the same way. Some of the security stuff is purely software. And then you have the, the entire discussion we had earlier about our integrated systems business that we've had for some period of time, which there's a software element of that, and then what you saw David teasing out today with that automation capability that we're going to deliver, you will see that as a subscription offer on top of our traditional system. So there's a broad array of movement into software or acceleration of assets that we have that are in software. And so um, each of those is going to move at a different pace. And uh, am I pleased with the speed at which we're moving? The answer's got to be no, <laughs> just because that's who I am. So. Uh, but uh, no, I, I actually think that the teams have the right plans, and I think that uh, we're we're operating responsibly, but uh, we're moving as quickly as as our customers want us to. Yeah, I mean, let me make one comment on that. Um, it's if you look at our organization, it's predominantly software developers. I mean, I, for every hardware developer I have in my organization, I have a, probably ten software developers, and then you multiply that by thousands of people, right? So. We've been a software company from the very first day that Cisco started. Like, if you don't have software, none of the products work, right? So the issue becomes the monetization of the software. Like, are we going to move the monetization from the embedded system to actually monetizing the software independently? And I think, you know, one of the things I was trying to get across today is as we continue to innovate in software, we're going to continue to innovate in hardware. We're going to continue to innovate in software. And as we continue to innovate in software, we're going to monetize that as software innovation. And we're going to monetize the hardware innovation as hardware. And so you will see, as we continue to innovate, that transition will happen. In the security business that I've been running for the last four years, we've been, doing, we've been running this play now for years, and we're essentially 50% software. If you look at the revenue of the business, it's about half software, half hardware. right? And so uh, it's because we're a, it's a, Security is a business that's naturally driven by innovation because you have an active adversary, to your point. <laughs> you're always coming up with new software to defend against your adversary. So you're able to make the transition faster. But as, as we continue to innovate and roll out new capabilities, we will constantly be looking at, if this is software-based innovation, we're going to monetize it as software-based yeah, innovation. Just, there's lots of reasons David has responsibility for <coughs> all of this. Uh, but one of the things that I did really want to see happen is take some of that the offer strategy that the teams built in the security portfolio and bring that to our core networking portfolio. So David's actually pulled some product management teams as, as well that are helping us uh, think through that to the, to the point that he just made.